guys, welcome back to ASX Market Watch. Thanks heaps for joining me today. We're actually checking out the charts, or checking out the world from a chartist's point of view. Very, very simple stuff, and obviously a good way to complement your own personal style of investing or trading, and especially to get a good view of where the world is heading according to our price charts, um, or according to the people who are involved in the price charts, because obviously people who buy and sell, they're the ones who create these prices. And if we're looking at our indices, uh, we're looking at three out of four stocks that could be potentially following these indices. Um, for example, if three out of four stocks are going up, then the index is likely to be heading up also. So that's the idea about what we're doing. Um, very, very simple stuff again. And we're going to check out the entire world. So America, Asia, Europe, down under Australia, of course, as well. And that, incidentally, is where we're going to start. A great place to start. Start at the very bottom, head upwards uh, throughout the entire world, and down under seems to be the place to be. So very, very simply, this is the All Ordinaries on the, uh, on the Australian charts, um, a great overview of where all the entire stocks are actually heading. Um, as you can see, we've got our entire our bull market, the top of the bull market, bottom of the bear market right down here. And this is the downtrend line that was crossed uh, around about August um, 2010, had a little bit of a bull run up, which was quite nice. And now, um, as uh, what we've been looking for is a sideways movement over the last couple of weeks, um, or the last week probably uh, mainly, and to continue for the next couple of weeks as well. Um, now, what I just want to really, really show you here is we've got a lot of support at 4,600, and that's basically what we're looking for at the moment. So, um, yes, definitely we're in a corrective phase, um, still in a longer-term uptrend, um, and as expected, we are starting to head into that sideways slash corrective phase at the moment. Um, now, one thing I need to show you about that corrective phase is these bars here, and I'll see if I can enlarge them just quickly. Here we go. These are our, all our long-tailed bars, and these are the things that we like to look out for, um, because these single bars can actually tell us, um, just one single bar can tell us where the market is actually heading, which is great um, if you know what to look for. We've got high opens, long tail bars down, um, so the market's gone down throughout the day, and then it's closed back up on its highs, which is that tick on the right there. As you can see, we've got another one here, and we've just had another one just recently at around the uh, 4,650 level. Now, the only caveat with this is that we've actually got bars going the other way as well. So we've got um, low opens, high throughout the day, and then low closes. So guys, yes, this is what happens in corrective phases, especially sideways um, corrective phases, which is what we were actually expecting. Um, check out the last couple of AXX market watches to just just confirm that. Basically, um, we we did want the market to go up to about 5,000, didn't quite reach there. Did still hit our targets though. Now the market's heading into that um, corrective phase, which is what we wanted. And um, yes, that's what you'll see. Basically, the market doesn't exactly know where it wants to go. It needs another solid signal um, for, or another something to happen, like a big trigger, something economically, something um, in the market. And then that will actually tell the market which way to go. That will sort of start, um, start the buying or selling. But as you can see, we've got currently buying at 4,600 and selling at approximately 4,700. So that's a, that's a about, oh no, 4,800, sorry, my mistake, 4,750 approximately. So yes, as you can see, that's where our range is potentially um, going to be and a little bit of sideways movement until something um, breaks out. Now the thing that we want the market to break out, the actual thing that we're expecting is earnings period. So earnings period is coming up and that's coming up uh, probably about f uh, January, February next year, 2011. That's a, a, on the Australian markets anyway. Now that is what we're looking for and that's what we're expecting to get some good earnings come back into the market. So obviously some earnings growth, companies to start growing again. Um, that's what we're looking for according to Dow's theory and that will give us a new leg which was what I will show you and that will hopefully bring us up to about the 6,000 mark over time, it will take time, and this is a very, very long-term view, guys. So um, that's just something to look out for over time if the company uh, company earnings do show some growth in our next reporting period. So that's what we're looking out for on the All Ordinaries. Next one is the Dow Jones, again, just really quickly. And again, um, on the Dow Jones, this is what we expected. Um, consolidation at previous highs, which is one of the things we're looking out for on the charts. There's our previous high. There's our consolidation. Pretty simple stuff. Um, and again, um, what we were looking for was a sideways movement on the Dow Jones as well. Um, really, where we could expect to go down to on the Dow Jones is... Uh, really could comfortably go down to 10,850. Um, so that's a, that's a comfortable move on the Dow Jones before it heads up again as well. And that's just on our, uh, that's basically our consolidation around the previous high. And 
as you can see, our longer term uptrend, which will tend to act as support in the future for us, guys, um, that is about 10,800 as well. So that's basically another thing backing up. That's our support um, that we can expect to find in the future. Even though we are in a corrective phase, you'll find that people will start to buy around that level. Uh, hopefully, uh, if it does cross that de that uptrend line, well, we'll tackle that when it, when we come to it. But if it does, that would be a weak sign. Um, something that I'm not personally expecting myself, but you just never know. So that would be something to look out for if you were um, looking at the market from a bearish perspective as well. Um, FTSE, just really quickly. Um, oh, we had a target. Yep, as you can see, this was, was our target, 125% of the previous move. Um, so there was a previous move and the market did reach 125% of the previous move. Similar to the uh, to the Dow Jones, we've got consolidation around the previous highs. Uh, we've still got trend line support at 5,600. And if we were to just um, quickly, again, um, the FTSE is looking at a, in a corrective move, um, could comfortably go around 5,580 or 5,600 or 5,400 if you're looking at a, at a deeper retracement there. But again, um, really in that sideways movement is what uh, I'm personally expecting. And that, um, then the last leg would be like a, a shorter move up again after that. Um, we've got a lot of trend line support as well on the FTSE. Um, again, at 5,600 and further down at 5,200, which is our longer term. See, right down at the bottom of the bear market right there. And that's our longer term uptrend line, which can give us support in the future as well. So the FTSE, as I said, has a lot of support. Uh, in the meantime, still expecting get that consolidation. And the reason that happens, guys, is just because people who have bought down the bottom here, they're starting to sell. And yet, because the market's making new highs, more people are starting to buy. So um, really, if the market breaks down a lot more, uh, well, as I said, we'll tackle that bridge when we come to it. But those are the two trend lines that you're looking out for, for the market to cross, for it to be bearish again. In the meantime, I'm still personally expecting that sideways movement. So, and what have we got next? I think the Hang Seng. Well, let's just quickly check out the Hang Seng, because this one has also met all the targets that we, um, that we said back in August. So um, really... Really, all the markets over, the, over this time have met our targets. Um, so that's obviously a good thing. The Hang Seng, we said, um, this one we called back in August um, 2010 again, and we actually called it between 24,000 and 28,000 to 30,000. Uh, it reached the first target, and that was pretty much it. So this is where we're at at the moment. So it reached 25,000, which was beautiful. Um, and again, if I just want to show you the reason why it did that, uh, we went 161.8% of the previous move right here. So that's just a simple price extension, guys, based on Fibonacci. Um, that's your 25,000 mark right there. Um, now, as you can see, the market, again, is heading into its um, its sort of corrective phase. Where could we expect it to find support? Well, very simply, um, the most the, the strongest level for the Hang Seng would be 22,000. So 22,000 would be the strongest level. Um, as you can see, that's a 50% retracement combined with the uptrend line, the current uptrend line there as well. So that's something to look out for on the Hang Seng. And again, um, if it does cross below that, that 22,000 for, for a significant amount of time, like about a week or so, we could expect weaker prices from there. But that's where the strongest support is in our corrective move and for that move to end. End, guys so hope that helps very simple stuff we're just using trend lines a few price extensions here or there I'm um, checking out the world charts from a chartist point of view uh, at least that's what you could expect from the price charts and as more um, stuff emerges we will be right on the ball and we'll show you exactly where it will be heading um, but you know as you as you can see when the price is consolidating there's not much we can do when it breaks out we'll be right at the forefront and, um, and be able to tell you straight away so guys hope that's helped drop by the website it's asxmarketwatch.com um, very simple tools that we use there and you've got a free course, you've got a free trading diary, uh, my own personal trading diary there as well it's to see me practice what I preach. Um, but yeah, check it out. It'll be great to have you there. Until then guys, happy trending and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.